After 12 exhausting days, the moment had arrived to approve a deal to keep global warming to one and a half degrees. Yet moments before the gavel came down, objections came up. China and India wanting to soften language on getting rid of coal. Including accelerating effort to face down unabated coal power. <laughs> a last minute play met by many with anger and disappointment that COP President Alok Sharma couldn't hide as he was forced to pass the deal. It's also vital that we um, protect this package. It is so decided. But a few moments later, the deal was done. Will you who shut is up, your, man. Listen, who is on your list, Joe? This who's is on your so list? Right. OK, that's it. That's the moment with visible reluctance. Alex Sean has just passed the Glasgow Climate Pact. Is 1.5 still alive? It's weakened, it's wounded. It's just about made it over the line. We all know that European wealth was built on coal, and if we don't get rid of coal, European death will also be built on coal. We know full well that coal has no future. On behalf of the Marshall Islands, I wish to read into the record our profound disappointment with the change in the language on coal from phase out to phase down. I didn't know what extreme was. In the year of 2019, hurricanes Tornadoes, floods, and droughts unleashed a wave of destruction upon our planet. At best, the Glasgow Climate Pact puts the world on a very uncertain path to 1.5 degrees. As for how history views it, that all depends on whether the 197 countries here stick to their promises.